National Science Week at Ashdale this year was a little bit different to how we've done it before. Uh, we decided to run a different themed day. So we had a chemistry day, a physics day, a biology day, and each of these days uh, a different year group was able to do a pretty cool experiment, such as the year sevens got to do some bottle rocket creations, the year 10s had a, a crime lab CSI kind of scenario, and they also used uh, this time to uh, have some really cool lunchtime activities. So we had uh, Kenyana Wildlife in for biology, uh, we had some uh, chemistry teachers do some cool hydrogen balloon explosions, uh, we had a, um, uh, a day to look at the, the, uh, the sun through a solar telescope, and a variety of other really cool engaging activities happening at lunchtime. So today we're doing a lesson on forensics. Um, I thought this would be a good design lesson for the students because it gets them using science skills that aren't necessarily academic related. Um, some hands on, the kids usually like CSI and those sorts of shows so I thought it would be something interesting and different for them to have a go at. Well the year 8 just recently finished the earth science program so today we were looking at basically volcanoes and how we can really introduce them to the real world scenario of how the earth affects basically everything that we do. So they looked at how viscosity and the different layers of the earth have different thickness and sometimes it's lava or sometimes it's a solid. So they had the opportunity to use the Bunsen burners, they had the opportunity to make the layer of the earth which included using some food items which they get to eat. It's really I find it's really important for them to actually do the hands-on application during Science Week. It's all about the excitement of it, getting them really interested in how science applies to the real world. National Science Week is something that's been running for quite a few years now and it's a really important initiative that the uh, Australian Government actually runs. Uh, science is uh, everywhere in our lives from the Wi-Fi you connect to, to the car that you drive, uh, to simply the, the clean water that you're drinking. And so I think in today's society people often forget that connection between where we're at and the science that's been used to actually get there. So having a week such as this to, to bring everyone's attention back to science, to, to focus on science and the importance of science in our society is a really important initiative to run. What we did today at lunch, so we filled up some balloons with hydrogen. Hydrogen is very, very explosive. We definitely filled up with hydrogen. We definitely, we definitely yeah. I think so. We also had one balloon that had oxygen. When you mix oxygen and hydrogen, you get an explosive reaction, you make water. That was the last one we did. That's when they're in the perfect ratio to, to combust the burn. So yes. that's what that last one was, a really loud one. Yeah. Felt it, echo, shockwave. Uh, we put some ethanol in our bottle. Uh, we lit the end and we saw the rocket shoot across the floor. So that was a good example of an exothermic reaction where we made lots of energy, lots of heat. Uh, it was uh, pretty good, I think. Yep. yep. I think it's great to get the kids doing different things. I think it's important to show the applications of science in a whole range of uh, different careers and activities. And I guess to also share some of the fun and passion that we have for science with our students.